What's happening, YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right. So we have a special today. Um, I'm doing a boost plant uh, review, and I ordered in the dead of winter. When this ar when this arrived yesterday, it was negative 15 degrees outside. Um, I'm we have a lot of plants I'm going to show you. Uh, some you're probably unfamiliar with and have never seen, so that'll be exciting to look at. I want to broaden everyone's horizons on. Uh, plants that you can have that work well in a low-tech tank um, and these are all low-tech plants um, so we have a few shout outs first that we always do uh, Alex you want to shout out to some of these new subscribers shout out to Anthony Edel Ed Edel Edelweiss Edelweiss Angie Bear Angie Bear and Cole Arnott man you know Angie Bear said on one of one of the videos she said you're my competition and you're going to steal my show is that true? I don't know have you been talking to the subs behind my back? I don't know no are you lying to me? no okay alright so you're not going to steal the show no alright yeah because I don't want to lose out on the millions of dollars we accumulate from this show just kidding we make absolutely nothing on this show alright Gentlemen's handshake. You will not steal my show. See that Angie Bear? He's not stealing it. Not happening. All right. Uh, happy holidays also to Gary Allen, longtime subscriber. Uh, shout out to Zachary. And shout out, I haven't heard from this person in a while, but happy holidays to Dave from the dark side. And uh, happy holidays to Harry Woodsman. Um, and then. Also, a special uh, shout out to a friend of mine, G Family. Uh, we got some Christmas gifts that we're going to open uh, here. And I did already open this, but I want to show you what the box looks like from Boots. Okay? And so you know when I got it. And if you really want to know what the temperature was yesterday, we live in Painesville, Minnesota. Just Google it, you'll see. It was 15 below. And Boots Plants does have an option where you can. Spend an extra five bucks and have them add a heating pack. I did not do that. Now I risked it, but that's because I'm always at the house and I knew I would be like staring out the window the whole day that it was supposed to show up to bring it indoors. If you're <clears throat> well, everything just went black and we lost everyone. Well, whatever. Anyway, what I was getting at is that this is when I ordered it. If you can see, let's see if it'll. not going to focus. Anyway, just believe me. Uh, it was ordered on the 23rd. It showed up yesterday. It was 15 below. If you're not going to be home when it gets there, I highly recommend that you do add the 399 heater packet that they can put in there. Um, if not, uh, just be outside waiting. The plants are only going to freeze if they've been sitting outdoors. Obviously, they're in a truck the whole time. So, um, Oh, and a thank you to my wife who ordered me uh, some new plants. Now, if you wait to the end, I'm going to show you how to plant this amazing Anubias that I ordered. Uh, how you can plant it to something without having to use wire or anything like that. We're going to use cotton glue. Okay, but first, let's go through all of the plants. And i got a lot of crypts. Right now, I'm on a crypt, crypt frenzy. Anyone who's been following me for a while, I go through phases. At one point, I had to have every Valisneria known to man. And now I just have way too much Um But anyway, so let's take a look at the first one that we got. Oh, and by the way, uh, Boost Plant was nice enough to send us. Well, oh, here it is. Boost Plant sent us a sticker. So if you're a sticker person, congratulations, you get a free sticker. All right. So the first plant we got, I ordered lots of uh, cryptocorns. This is Cryptocorn Parva. And I've talked about this plant before. And uh, it is an easy plant. It does not need CO2. And one other thing, I will put a link to Boost Plant. So if you want to order from there, no, I'm not affiliated with them. I'll just make it easy for you. It is an app you got to download. They, they only do um, ordering online. Uh, 
when you're ordering from them, check the description of the plant and scroll down to its parameters. Now it'll have a spot that says CO2. If it says CO2 needed, don't order that plant unless you run a CO2 system. If it says recommended but not needed, you're okay. You just want a well-established tank before you um, start planting that type of plant in there. And then some say easy, no CO2 whatsoever, you're good. Um, so this is Parva. Now, when you look this up, it'll tell you that Parva only gets about four inches. Now, if you've seen prior videos of mine, I have some that are over six, so which is fine. I just don't know why they think four is the max when it, it can get as tall as undulatus. Um, but I got a few bushes of it, and we will open it. It's a great looking plant. What do you think of this plant, man? Yep, I've got a spot where I'm going to plant it, uh, these three pots of it, around one of these logs. So I just have a log with it around there. If you put your hand behind it like that, it helps people see what, what you're, you're showing. All right, so let's open up. we got a lot of plants, so we're going to go through all of them. The next one we got here, Cryptocorn Retro Spiral. All right. Now, uh, the Parva is a foreground plant, so you can put that up front. Retro Spiral is a background plant. Um, so you can put it Right, uh, this one can, this is an easy plant too. No CO2 and it can grow up to 24 inches. So uh, I would recommend having at least a uh, 40 gallon tank, if not longer. All right, so let's see if you can t get a good look. Let me hold it upside down. See how it's got kind of got crinkly, twisty stems there? It's about halfway to its its length that it's shooting for and we will open up one of these and I'll show you the easiest way I did write down where this plant was came from India and China is where that's from um, so let's check out that's a gorgeous crypt uh, the next crypt that we got let's open this up would you like to do the scissors do a little snip snip snipperoo across the top Now, all of these plants that are ordered are easy, non-CO2, um, low-light plants. So I've got a really deep tank I'm putting them in, and all of the, uh, I put a lot of floaters on the top. You can't really see much on this. This is obviously, it's going to go through some serious melting, uh, the uh, Myoya. Um, this is also a background plant. It can grow up to 15 inches. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, the ranges on all of these plants, I wish this was a little bit more flizzniddly fluffy for us to look at, but yeah, it's this one's going to go through some serious melting. I'll have to get that one planted pretty quickly. All right, and then we've got Cryptocorn Walkery. Uh, walkery is a... Well, loose leaf, six inch tall plant. And here's what its leaves look like. That's pretty cool. This one I think I'm gonna do as a foreground, which would be great. I'm doing all cryptocorns in here. And then the last one, I had to pre-open it. It's a floating plant. Uh, it's called uh, Salvinia uh, colonanta. My pronunciation is terrible. You can hate on me in the comments if you want. I do get corrected quite often, and no, I don't get offended. It's okay. All right. This I had to get in there super fast, but this is what it looks like, and it grows giant pods like this, and it's a fern. It's not like regular um, other types of floaters like frog bit or water lettuce. This is an actual fern really thick root structure but it doesn't grow roots nearly as long as water lettuce or um, frog bit they can grow roots all the way down to the bottom of your tank the longer the root the bigger the petals will get this will grow side shoots it is a fern and grow pods and it does like um, highlight um, so I'm gonna put this back in here all right so 
we're going to get some of this planted. I'm going to pause the video, and then if you want to wait, I want to show you. Now, this, in my opinion, is the most gorgeous Anubias you can get. Okay, it's just my opinion, all right? And you can't find it anywhere. The only place I've ever seen this is from Boost Plants, and they have the largest selection of aquatic plants. Um, so we're going to get this planted, and then we'll open this, and I'll show you an easy way to attach it and let you see the gorgeous look of this type of Anubias. Um, all right, so give us a minute. Uno momento, por favor. See you in one second. We'll see you in one second. All right, we are back. Have anything you want to say? Um, Could be anything. I was going to say happy holidays, but we so Okay, well, he wanted to say happy holidays twice. So there you go. So uh, we're not going to go through all the crypts, but when taking them apart and planting them, in general, it's uh, typically the same. So I've got a potted, this is a retro spiral, um, and... You want to plant these immediately. Crips are extremely sensitive, and if you want to avoid as much melt as possible, some don't do what some uh, do and take it like this and then just sink it in their tank and then mess around for a few days before they actually plant it. Because what's going to happen is, if you don't plant it right away, it's going to acclimate to this cup and your water parameters, okay? And it's going to get adjusted, start going through its melting phase, and then grow new leaves. And then you're like, oh, I'm going to plant it. So then you take it out of the pot, remove all the rock wool, and plant it again. And it's going to go through the whole thing all over again. So uh, you want to plant it, um, you know, immediately. When you get your plants, don't wait. I don't know why some YouTubers suggest you should wait, but don't wait. Um, if you want to acclimate them while they're still in the bag to the temperature of the water, that's great. After a half hour, start planting. Now... As you can see here, I'm pulling this apart carefully because there's more than likely going to be more than one. And you want to be very careful. And so here, ah, and look, we scored. Always take a good look at your roots. So I've got two here. And just so you know, cryptocorns do look best, in my opinion, when they're planted in groups of uh, three or four right next to each other. And one part of this um, may actually do that. I, I love the crinkly leaves on these. All right. So again, I've got some more in here. Going to remove the rock wool. And all right, we got we got a total of four plants for the price of one. I believe this was five ninety nine. So, I mean, that's awesome. What a dollar and twenty five cents per plant. Now, when you're looking at this, <clears throat> there's several things you want to take a look at. If you see right here, this is a bent and broken leaf that's already uh, dying. And I've mentioned this before, those got to go. Plants don't know not to do this, but what they're going to do is when they have a leaf that's dying or torn or damaged in some way, it will instinctively start sending all of its nutrients to that part of the plant. But unfortunately, plants can't repair themselves. So don't let them waste their time trying to fix something they can't fix. So go ahead and snip it off all the way at the base. Okay. Look at any others that have any crinkles or tears in them. This one. Go ahead and snip that off. The ones that aren't, there's a chance that they'll be fine and they won't melt off. You know, you're, you're helping it by removing the stuff that is damaged. Then I also trim the tips of the roots. Okay, now trimming the tips of the roots helps them because what it's going to do now is now that they're open at the tip, they're going to start absorbing as much nutrients out of your substrate as possible. And by the way, Crips do prefer a well-established tank. If you've had it running for a couple months and then you get some Crips, they will adjust much easier than if you put it in a freshly built tank tank because your tank has to go through a cycle and plants do go through a cycling process just like everything else um, so uh, this one I'm putting it in um, it's it's three months old so it, it's doing great so we trim the roots then to get it in this right here this thick part that is not a root that is a runner it's attempting to grow out another one because they will send runners under the dirt 
and up will pop a new one. And then the roots are these. I know there's not very many on crypts. They grow pretty thick roots. But you see, this one only has a couple. They look nice. Any roots that are brown or soggy, you want to trim those off also. They're no longer useful uh, roots. So if you kind of pinch it and it's just squishy, it's, it's already started to die. You, you want to see them kind of uh, white. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing with the rest of these. Any, any leaves that are torn or dying, they got to go. They're just going to melt off anyway and collect a bunch of nutrients that's not necessary. Right, and you want your roots to help crypts. What I do is I'll put my thumb down at the tips of the roots, like this, and then I'll push straight down, and then release my finger, and then follow by my thumb, and, and then while it's in there, the roots will plop straight down, and then slowly move my hand up. Now, you want to help the roots, because if your roots are sticking up, what's going to happen is, it's definitely going to go through some milk because now it's got to uh, pour all its energy into adjusting its roots to pointing in the right direction, which is down and off to the sides. You got any sticking up in the air? It's going to take it a week before it's managed to wiggly, uh, slowly wiggle its way to pointing in the right direction. All right, so I'm going to pause this, get this planted, and like I said, uh, I have a, my last special plant that I'm going to show. If you've made it this far, I want to show you with this Coffee Folia Anubius. It is amazing and how you can get it planted uh, to some wood with some cotton and some safe glue. So uh, let me get this going and we'll see you in a bit. What are you going to say? Uh, bye bye. Hasta luego. Or see you in a minute. All right, welcome back. Now we're for the most exciting part of the video, for me anyway. What about you? Thumbs up? Cool. Cool story, bro. Alright, so, the last plant on today's order, uh, it's Anubius coffeefolia. My favorite looking Anubius. Now, there are dozens and dozens to pick from. You may find one that you like more, but this one in particular, this one is the gem that I have. And I've only seen it at Boost Plants. And I have ordered it before. Now, I will tell you, if you order from them, if you only order one pot of something, it's at a price. Uh, but if you order multiples, like they'll sell them in packs of three or five, it reduces the cost of each one. Like, um, one of these coffee folias is $9.99, but I bought a pack of three, and it came out to $24.99. So you save a couple bucks per plant. All right, so let's take a look at this coffee folia anubius. Isn't that something else? You take a look. Let's take out these other ones. Oh yeah. That's cool. Isn't that wicked how, how dark the lines are between the... Um... It looks like a fake plant. Yeah, it, it does. Um, and you know, it's green like your average anubius. Um, but I just love the, the darkening. You can hold it up closer if you want them to take a look at it. Put your hand behind it. Show some of those darkenings of the, uh, ooh, here's a good one. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Those leaves are huge. Yeah. So uh, I did promise that I would show an easy way to uh, attach these if you don't want to use wire or, um, you know, something of that nature. So I'm going to open one of these. I'm going to teach you how to do it with a piece of cotton, a small piece, and, and glue. some glue. Right. Now, real quick. You can use any kind of glue you want. It does not matter the brand. You do not have to buy some special sechum or fluval plant glue. It can be any glue, but it needs to be glue that comes in a gel form. And it'll say uh, gel on the package. And the ingredient you want to make sure it has is called cy syrencolite. Okay? So first make sure it says gel, then cy syrencolite. All right? And it's safe to use on your plant. All right, it's not going to hurt anything. This that's the only type of glue that you can use and almost every brand out there makes this gel. And you can glue underwater. I'm going to show you. I'm going to attach it to one of these logs right after I've um, opened this up. So let's start with this one. Obviously, make sure your hands are clean, okay? 
you're dealing with live plants, you're touching the roots and whatnot, you don't want them to absorb any crud off of your fingers. All right, Can get this up. Yeah, you want to open it up very gently and start pulling off some of that rock wool. Be careful not to tear any roots. Now, we are going to trim roots, but you don't want to tear them. All right. There we go. Oops, I dropped it. So here it is. Isn't that fantastic? It looks like it's fake, but it's real. It's real, man. Roots look awesome on here. Um, Anubius, you know, just like any other plant, people seem to think that cryptocorns are the only thing that melts. Just about everything will melt. You may lose a couple leaves here and there, but it'll start growing back once it's adjusted to your tank and parameters and all of that. Now, this is a low light plant. So all of my tanks are all low tech uh, tanks, but I use high tech lights and that's because I keep floaters and immersed grown plants on the top. So it shades everything below. Now to glue this, here are the roots. Now the roots, you're gonna split them, divide them in half. So you have them going in either direction and just like any other plant jump start it by tripping uh, sorry trimming <laughs> off don't, don't be tripping yeah you don't want to do that yeah. you might have a hard time doing this while tripping um, <laughs> yeah. so we're gonna split the roots and between the roots where the leaves grow off and the roots is a rhizome and we're gonna get a piece of cotton tear a tiny piece off this cotton will not hurt anything now we're going to take our, our gel, all right, and I'm going to place some right here on the bottom of the rhizome, all right? This gel will wear off and go away over time, and by then, um, it will have, the roots will have clung on to the object that you're gluing it to. So, here we are. Now what's great about this glue is that it's also water activated. It takes it a few seconds, but if you act quickly, you can glue directly under water. All right. Now, Alex, you pay attention to the camera here and make sure people can see you gluing this to something, okay? Okay. Can you see me? Well, anyway, all I need to do is just attach it to the wood, hold it for about 10, 15 seconds, quick enough. I'll get this, I promise. It's really tricky because it... Here, glue, yeah. quick. Get act with quickness. I wasn't quick enough the first time. It dries really fast, so it's kind of tricky. Right, Dustin? Yeah, the water makes it start to harden almost immediately. Success! I know this was a long video. We had a lot of plants, and I do hope that you looked at all of them. Uh, they are all easy, low-tech uh, plants that you can order. Um, every single one of the plants that I've ordered that we showed you today, I have not seen anywhere. Not um, at any aquatic nursery or the big chain stores especially. You'll never find these types of exotic plants at like Petco PetSmart or your local fish store. Um, I've only seen these at Boost Plants. Uh, your runner-up, Dustin's Fish, Dustin's Fish something. Anyway, that's a, that's a place, an aquarium co-op. And just so you know, these guys don't mess around. They get your plants out to you very quickly, you know, considering the weather and all of that. You get your orders uh, within two to three days every time. Um, and 
So there we go. That's all I've got to say about that. Thank you so much. I appreciate all my new subscribers. Got a few more of these Anubias I'm going to plant in here because we're getting close to getting this fully planted. All right. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Please leave a comment. Happy holidays. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. We both get bored and eager to talk to everybody. So... We will answer your questions. We will answer your questions. And like always, if you're having a bad day, you're feeling down in the dumps. Do something about it. That's right. Get up and do something about it. Catch you next time.